What's up my people? Bless upon yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe and click that top bell icon so you can get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So that story my people, the first thing I go share. Me see it early around today and I say me I wait to see if them give you any update. But me not see no update. You see me? Somebody found along Washington Boulevard. This morning them finding me people. A body was this morning discovered along Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew. The police were called to the scene. Traffic is being diverted as the incident is being probed by investigators. Motorists can expect delays. So, that are from this morning. So, a smooth sailing again. You know what I mean? So, all of them investigation, they done or something, something, man. Ray, ray, ray. So, if me get no update upon this, I'm going to share it with you guys. As I said, I see it from this morning. But, I did a wait upon the update. Because, as you see, them not give you much information. You know what I mean? So, we are going to move on, my people. We are going over in a St. Elizabeth. We are alleged gang member get caught up and drop out along with the next person. See? So, this is what them say happened, right? An alleged gang member was among two men who were shot and killed at a house in Cambridge District, Brampton, St. Elizabeth, last evening. Dead is 50-year-old Bailey, who police say was on their radar and his associate Elvis McIntosh. Reports are that about 7.30 p.m. the men were at the house when they were pounced upon by armed men who shot them several times. Residents summoned the police and on their arrival, Bailey and McIntosh were seen suffering from gunshot wounds. They were pronounced dead at hospital. Meantime, head of the constabulary communication unit superint senior superintendent Stephanie Lindsay told our news team that the murders are linked to an ongoing intra-gang conflict in the area. So, man we used to par, you know what I mean? Break off and start war against each other. You see it? So, we are going to move on, my people. <coughs> but we are still in a St. Elizabeth. One charge, two arrests linked to spot of St. Elizabeth murders. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police, Acting Senior Superintendent College Minto, says one man has been charged while two other suspects have been arrested in connection with three of the six murders recorded in the parish last week. Speaking at the monthly meeting, at the St. Elizabeth Municipal, Municipal Corporation on Thursday, Superintendent Minto says the police are working hard to keep homicide numbers down in the parish. Between January 1st and December this year, 29 murders were recorded in St. Elizabeth compared to 38 for the corresponding period in 2022. Superintendent Minto says detectives recently arrested two brothers they suspect of involvement in a murder in St. Elizabeth earlier this year. So, boy, people, the parish of St. Elizabeth get hot. Boy, may I tell you. Human skull found during cleanup of entertainment venue in Portmore. Detectives assigned to the Portmore Criminal Investigation Branch in St. Catherine are seeking the public's assistance in identify, identifying a human skull that was found in an open lot at an entertainment venue in the municipality. The discovery was made on Thursday morning. The police report that about 9.30 a.m., a laborer who was employed to clear the area in preparation for an event was undertaking work and stumbled upon the skeletal remains and contacted the police. On their arrival, the skull was seen. The scene was processed and the skull was removed to the morgue pending post-mortem examination. Investigators are appealing to anyone with information that can assist them to contact the Portmore CIB or the police emergency or crime stop or the nearest police station. You see me? So leave your comments and let me know what you guys think. Right? So we are going to move on my people and a female drop out this morning in a tree vehicle accident you know what i mean she was a she is a university graduate you see me r.i.p to this female it look like say 
she go out, go enjoy herself and I come in back in the morning or maybe I take a look at early morning trip or whatever. But she was a passenger, them say in her bends. See, Jaja, boy, may I tell her people. Just as she forward upon the island, you know, them say she come back about a week now. A woman killed in a multi vehicle crash along the Mandela Highway in St. Catherine on Saturday has been identified. The deceased is 23 year old Submanida Williams of the St. Catherine, of a St. Catherine address. Police reports are that about 5.45 a.m., William was a passenger in a Mercedes-Benz SUV traveling on the highway heading to St. Catherine when the vehicle collided into the rear of a park truck. Georgia. As a result of the collision, the Benz careened and crashed into a Suzuki Grand Vitara motor car that was traveling in the same direction. Williams suffered serious injuries and was pronounced dead at the hospital. There were no other serious injuries, the police said. Head of the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Mr. Mackenzie, said investigations are ongoing to see whether the fatal accident was a result of dangerous driving. We gather that the vehicle had just passed a speed check point at 6 miles. An investigation is being carried out to ascertain properly whether or not there was a manner of driving that amounts to driving and causing death by dangerous driving or manslaughter, he told our news team. It is understood that Williams had earlier this week returned to the island from the United States where she attended the University of South Florida. Judge R.I.P. And condolences to the family. I see me telling the people, Uno no make nobody drive fast with Uno. Make them take time drive. Majority of the time, the driver go swing out of the danger and put the passenger side in at the danger. You hear what them say? There was no other serious injury. And she alone get everything. You see what I say? So the driver swing out of whatever and lick for your side. You see me? The drive. Alright, I'm going to tell you no people. That is not, um, you that say, planned or maybe premeditated. You see me? I just natural instinct. You see me? The driver I go take film side out of the danger. He might go swing, yes. But he not go deliberately put the passenger side in at the danger. You know? He just go swing and if you want to catch the passenger side, he catch the passenger side. You understand me? I say? So I just natural instinct for just take himself out of the danger. You know what I mean? So I know deliberately him go kill off this girl. You know what I mean? I just natural instinct him take himself. And them says a park truck. You see me? So maybe in the morning there, him not see the road clear. Maybe a party them go, as me said before, and them are come home back and them not really alert. You understand me? And them just come up on the truck just so. You understand? So RIP again to the female, condolences to the family. People, as me say, don't make nobody drive too hard with you in the vehicle. Tell them to take them time. So bless up on yourself, people. Like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think.